Madam Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, it was with it is with great opulence that I prepare this speech today. Aloha. I was born on St. Patrick's Day, March 17, 1956, in Honolulu, Hawaii, and named Kat Lynn Cullen Malia Vahine Kelei Okamalu Ogawa Fernandez. Mm. With this long name comes many nationalities. I am Portuguese, Hawaiian, English, Irish, Japanese, and German. I am very mixed up, some say, <laughs> matter of factually. <laughs> ohana means family in Hawaiian, and I love my ohana. My father was Green Beret. He retired as the post sergeant major at Fort Ord, which is what brought me to this area. My mother, a devoted wife and parent, is also a beautiful professional hula dancer. And she can play the ukulele and sing Hawaiian music as well. I have two sisters, one older and one younger, and I love getting in the middle of them at times. <laughs> Sadly, we had an older brother, but he passed away in a boating accident several years ago. He was doing something he really loved, though, diving for squid in the ocean we were raised in. Bless his heart. I have one child, a son, and he recently signed up for the Army, so he will be leaving next month for basic training. While bittersweet, I love the fact that he is willing to serve his country, and I'm very proud of him. You may be wondering why the two hats here. Well, they represent a big part of my childhood. Who I am, how I became. Half Islander, half military. <laughs> <laughs> With a father that spent most of his tours in Korea and then Vietnam, we were probably one of the luckier military families and that we only had to travel between our homeland, Hawaii, and Okinawa, Japan. I certainly had to adapt to bouncing back to different schools throughout my childhood. Imagine preschool through high school, approximately 12 to 13 years. We traveled back and forth, sometimes every two to three years meaning I was in and out of different schools continually. In fact, I began my first year of high school in Hawaii, and then we moved to Okinawa, where I graduated at Kubasaki High. I must say, class reunions are not unique to me. Military kids often pay a similar price for their parents' military career, with no regrets though, only understanding. I'm very proud of my father and his legacy. I'm thankful that I understand the word patriotism. I respect our American flag and I respect those that serve. Thank you soldiers for your devotion to our country. I've had a life of paradise, adventure, and diversity. I've made new friends often and bid farewell to them sooner than later often, just as soldiers do. What a wealth of life skills I have to be thankful for. I know my childhood helps me to understand our world as it is. After all, I have double vision. <laughs> <laughs> Military, like their parents, have a never-ending desire to survive. We have joys, we have tears, but we are strong and invincible. Madam Toastmaster, aloha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.